The Faith I Live By, a devotional by Ellen G. White. The Captivity of Satan And I saw an angel come down from heaven, having the key of the bottomless pit and a great chain in his hand. And he laid hold on the dragon, that old serpent, which is the devil and Satan, and bound him a thousand years. Revelation 20 verses 1 and 2 At the coming of Christ, the wicked are blotted from the face of the whole earth, consumed with the spirit of his mouth, and destroyed by the brightness of his glory. Christ takes his people to the city of God, and the earth is empty of its inhabitants. The whole earth appears like a desolate wilderness, the ruins of cities and villages destroyed by the earthquake, uprooted trees, ragged rocks thrown out by the sea, or torn out from the earth itself, are scattered over its surface, while vast caverns mark the spot where the mountains have been rent from their foundations. Here is to be the home of Satan and his evil angels for a thousand years. Here, he will be confined to wander up and down over the broken surface of the earth and see the effects of his rebellion against God's law. For a thousand years, he can enjoy the fruit of the curse which he has caused. Limited alone to the earth, he will not have the privilege of ranging to other planets to tempt and annoy those who have not fallen. During this time, Satan suffers extremely. Since his fall, his evil traits have been in constant exercise, but he is to be then deprived of his power and left to reflect upon the part which he has acted since his fall, and to look forward with trembling and terror to the dreadful future when he must suffer for all the evil that he has done and to be punished for all the sins he has caused to be committed. I heard shouts of triumph from the angels and from the redeemed saints, which sounded like 10,000 musical instruments, because they were to be no more annoyed and tempted by Satan, and because the inhabitants of other worlds were delivered from his presence and his temptations.